MCAT question of the day. The reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen gas to create ammonia is a reversible process shown below. Which of the following will cause a shift in the net reaction to the left? This is about Le Chatelier's principle, which is ultra high yield content, bound to come up on the exam at least once, should be free points. The principle states that when a stress is placed on a system that is at an equilibrium, the net reaction will then act in a way to reduce that stress and return the reaction back to an equilibrium. You can visualize the principle as a balancing scale or a seesaw. Adding concentration on one side will force the reaction to proceed to create more of the other side until everything is balanced again. It's important to remember that the the reaction is happening constantly in both directions but at rates that maintain a ratio of reactants to product. So for A, decreasing the concentration of NH3, if we decrease this then we should expect the forward reaction to produce more NH3 to rebalance the equilibrium which means the net reaction will proceed to the right. A is not the answer. B, for B, it's important to remember that while a catalyst can speed up the rate of the forward and reverse reactions, it should not influence the equilibrium. And then you may have already guessed it when we ruled out A, but C is the correct answer. If we increase the concentration of NH3 now, an excess is available for the reverse reaction and the net reaction will proceed to the left to rebalance the ratios. Then D is not correct because increasing H2 concentration will also shift the reaction to the right. Study well.